Las Vegas. It's Let's Talk News Now with Rick and Ella. I hope you got your cup of coffee going here this Friday, so TGIF for everybody out there. We have a new musician here has just joined us. Actually, yes. Valerie, tell us a little bit about Mr. Taylor. Well, I was in L.A. and uh, going around into the clubs, looking at bands and listening to music and with friends, and went to the Viper Room and ran into TJ. Performing. Performing. And I was I was pretty impressed with his performance actually. So I brought him over here. TJ, how would you define what genre would you say that your your music falls into? I know musicians oftentimes don't like to be stuck in niches. Swapped, yeah. Right. But how would you define yours? Well I I would say that uh, generally I would say it's a reggae rock hip hop uh, fusion. Oh, reggae rock hip hop. Right. Okay. Can you Translate that. Yeah, yeah. What, is, what, what does that mean? Right. Dynamic, more like. Yeah. Translation dynamic. It's, right. a, new, it's, it's a new sound. I'm over right. 40. I don't understand. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's not reggae, it's not rock, it's not hip-hop, but kind of a collective uh, genre. And, and there's a lot of bands coming out that have this particular grouping. But um, like you said, they, you know, it's still more than that. It's not qu just that, you know, they, it depends. Sometimes lean a little heavier rock, heavier hip-hop, heavier reggae. But those, those elements always kind of intertwine for this particular genre. Okay. And what is it that started you as, as a musician? I mean, for a lot of people, it's just almost like they had... I call it the, the Mozart feeling. They just could sit down. Uh -huh. Or the Beethoven thing, you could just sit down in front of a keyboard and start immediately. Playing. For you, was it more like learning through high school, learning through church, when mom beat you over the head with a <laughs> you know, what was it? Uh, <laughs> no, you know, I actually, I, in high school, I was a bit of a rambunctious kid, so I actually got kicked out of my house to go live with my aunt and uncle when I was in high school. Um, and my uncle's in a band, and, and he taught me how to play music because I didn't have any friends or really anything else to do out there so um, my uncle taught me everything I know and um, and pretty much set me on the path to music with my, with my moving with my aunt and uncle in high school yeah. that's what an amazing story it's, yeah. it, 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 how people find themselves sometimes is oftentimes not the most orthodox it can be the very very unorthodox way and circumstances that sometimes people might turn around and say well it's terrible are really not terrible circumstances at all, but it's an opportunity for someone else to to unveil themselves and what they really would wanted to do. Right. In this case, with your uncle, you know, passing on or at least showing you music, and that's what you're doing now. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, looking back on it, it was definitely uh, life changing. You know, I, I, I before that, I didn't really have any particular um, desire to get it, get involved with music, but once I kind of started to learn it, it kind of went from there. And, uh, Very so, nice. Yeah. Were you always in reggae? Uh, you know, I actually learned how to play uh, mainly classic rock. Uh, was uh, first song I ever learned how to play was uh, Tom Petty's "Free Falling." Oh yeah, I like and that song. Uh, and but I now I, that I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know. Okay, that I know. Yeah. It, well, and then I, when I was in high school, after I learned how to play music, I uh, started dating a girl, an old girlfriend in high school that was really into reggae. Yeah, like, I was going to say, women always have yeah, that Yeah, I know. They, so, <laughs> once again, you know. Friend, she told me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that kind of got me into reggae. And um, so, you know, I, I'd been learning rock. I'd been, you know, um, uh, into reggae. And, and then I'd also always been into hip-hop since before I learned how to play music. So, those kind of all just kind of came together. Wow. Now, do you wow. draw from all, um, all three genres in terms of fanatic, uh, fanat fans, sorry, not fanatics? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so the song that we're going to listen to, the title is called? Cruise Control. Cruise Control. Oh, my God. Cruise I love control. that song. Yeah. That's the one I saw him perform. Ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. So we're going to have an sure, yeah. And we're going to be playing, you have it in the background here as we're, as we're, as we're talking, you put a clip on the end of our interview for sure. Because I want people to get a chance, and I, quite frankly, I'm teasing about being so old that I don't know about anything. I was listening to your music earlier before we sat down to do this. And it really is. It, it's it's great. Your vocals are great. Your music is great. So what brings you here to Las Vegas now? What are you doing here in L and LV? Well, I'm, I'm actually just here for a couple of days visiting a friend who's got some business here. And so whenever I, I live in Los Angeles, so whenever you know a friend is in Las Vegas, I have this opportunity to. That's a 45 minute flight. Yeah. So what's it now? It's like driving. Where can those people listen to your music? How would they find out? Well, you can find you can find it on Facebook. Um, uh, where where at? Facebook. Uh, Facebook uh, slash uh, TJ Taylor okay. uh, dot com. You can also find it on um, uh, Facebook dot com slash Puget Sound System. It's an old group, group that I was in. And um, 
and you can find it on myspace.com slash Puget Sound System or you can just Google it. Google. How about YouTube? You say you have some clips? Sure. He has, he has some live performances on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But they're clips, like people yeah. recording him. Cell phones. Performing. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Little, yeah. Little fan base. Right. Do you write most of your music? Yeah, I write all the music. Uh, it's all. As well as performing. As well as performing. Fantastic. Yeah. I was calling him the Eminem of reggae earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, he's a good rapper. You rap on Right, him. right. I, 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 I take that as a high compliment. I, yeah, he's, he's, he's right. successful. Right. Yeah. So passionate, talented. Right. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Yeah. As always, you know, it never ceases to amaze you, Valerie. You find some of the greatest entertainers. <laughs> we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to uh, enjoy one of Ella's segments. Guess what? Featuring some of the great food here at the Queen Victoria Mall. We'll be back later.